Well, hey, everybody, I'm nine first morning meteorologist Brandon Spinner. It is the holiday weekend, and as we look ahead to your Sunday, we may start off with a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Those moving through during the early morning hours right along a stationary front that should get out of here by eight or nine o'clock. And from there, we're looking at a nice sunny, albeit warm Sunday afternoon with more heat and humidity. Overall, a great day tomorrow to head out into the pool. Your Sunday afternoon highs into the mid to upper 80s. A lot of sunshine, but that sunshine means UV levels are near the top of the charts. Burn time in as little as 10 to 15 minutes if you're not properly using that sunscreen or reapplying it as often as you should. Now through the rest of the weekend, we'll have a little bit of a break in the humidity for Sunday and then it ramps right back up as we head on through the middle of the week. Monday, obviously the ho holiday and then from there it starts to really ramp up for the middle of the week. Sunday, the Braves are taking on the Reds here in town at Great American Ballpark. If you are heading out first pitch at 140, hot and humid, uh, and that humidity makes it still feel like the upper 80s, if not the low 90s out there. We'll see plenty of sunshine and that'll carry on late Sunday. Now into Monday, high pressure moves out towards the east. We'll have our next system try to push here, try to to sneak in with the warm front just towards our north into Monday afternoon. Most of the activity should stay out towards the Chicagoland area and southern portions of Wisconsin. We may see a few spillover showers here, but we'll be dry for the most part as we head on through your Monday, aside from a few isolated showers and storms. So overall, your fireworks forecast looking spectacular for the 4th of July. 84 degrees around 10 o'clock Monday evening, a slight chance at a shower, very minimal wind out of the south right around five miles per hour. From here on out, we're looking at a big, big warm up. How warm feels like temperatures through the middle of the week could be reaching the triple digits. Hydration is going to be key, especially because a lot of you may be thinking about having some parties on Monday and taking a few adult beverages. So just make sure one to one, if not two to one when it comes to water to alcohol beverage. As far as that overall trend, warmer than normal pattern continues through the middle of July. But next weekend looks like we might get a break from the intense heat, low to mid 80s, a slight chance at a shower or two on Saturday. Not likely that'll really last too long from there. We do need some rain. The month of June was very, very dry comparative to where we should be for this time of the year. The good news is as we move on throughout the rest of the uh, the month of July, we could see a little bit more warmth and you can see that warmer than normal air will be here for the end of the month. Tonight we're seeing a few isolated showers and thunderstorms warm and muggy. That's for certain uh, temperature down to 68 as we push on into tomorrow. 89, a few clouds slightly warmer overall. It does look like a very warm and humid stretch. 93 pretty much every day this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be 92 and then slight cool down as we head on into next weekend.